sign of lovely people. It's another time for me to be here with you on this podcast. As you already know, this is your favorite podcast. Where you tell me every time that we come here to give you more vibe and more information about the well-being and personal development of young men with dreadlock. And as you already know, it's the Just Dreads No Fan Podcast Radio. And you already know I'm your host, Kojo Rasta. You could have called me Natty Dreadlock. You could have called me. Any one of them, all I don't know, them are the same person, one in three, three in one without apology. You know, we say, you know, it's good. This is you know, the company we keep one now and now. Yes, sir, Charlie. Every time we have a come here, be a uh, Charlie, then we make happy because, you know, the man saying how good and pleasure for graduate to dwell together in unity because it's like a pressure, so it's been upon the head of Iran that runs down. In the environment, you understand? So it's like, Charlie, every time they will be here, so it's more of a legitimate, more of happiness and all of them good stuff. And as you already know, this podcast is basically, you know, try to you know, talk to I want to you to mind them, I want to get to you to mind them, I want to keep all them, all them keep all them dead. With them to carry jet lock, all them have them mind, see them to them will carry jet lock, all them will carry long here, you understand? So say them go know why I'm going in this journey. So say them to them go prepare themselves and also uh, be aware of the obstacles and how them to them go feel maneuver through and get to all the streets and get to all the you know, the prisons and all them thing that so. So if you don't know, yeah, well, that is what we're basically about. And Charlie, as you know, every time you're on the break, you know, more topics we're going power on a youth man them to make them remember how great them is how powerful them is and Charlie the King that that, that is you know Charlie the King with them within them not a little kid which and most of the time people try to push out of them yeah one that is why Charlie just stress no offense Charlie with me to give you the vibe and to give you all them motivation and things that's so so Charlie 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 today what we talk about today what we talk about Charlie make I give you this scenario real quick there Charlie you do you tell me your mind or what you two you think about this scenario? Just imagine say, if you wake up in the morning, Charlie, you don't want to get up and, you know, go about your day. But because, Charlie, you are so stressed down, Charlie, you're stressed too much because of a particular thing where they ahead of you where you don't want to tackle. Or something because money don't be in your pocket. Or some problem with the other way you don't go face. Or you have to go face. Or something that's so way the around way most of the time, Charlie. It is set you back where they give you this anxiety, they give you this depression, it they give you all this stress. Tell her what you could do. My brother, what you could do? These be some of the things where they eat up a woolly by people. These be the things where Charlie either eat up a woolly by man them. You did eat up Charlie I and I you to man them, especially. We the get to you to really Charlie with the carry job but sometimes Charlie we don't know how we'll get on our next meal and that bring about a stress. Sometimes we don't know what we will do for the next moment and that Charlie said they give we more the pressure. Some problems where they are ahead of we, some things where we the think where they bring about a particular pattern where you make out or you bring out that depression where we go through no Charlie. Sometimes we don't know how to go about that. That be why Charlie, I bring this particular topic today: the role of meditation and mindfulness in our mental health and our well-being. Charlie, that was the topic we had on between me and you. We will talk about today. And if we talk about meditation, Charlie, we were from the African day. We were from the African part of the world. Most of the time, when we talk about meditation, a only part people they take think them are mind to go some spiritual and blue deals and can cover enchantment some um like you know i don't know how i may have put down like then most of the time then it take meditation to be astral projection if they understand then it take meditation to be something way it not be what exactly it is because basically our people are not used to these particular things in our churches, in our mosques, in our religious settings where we have basically in Africa. Most of the time, you know, they inculcate or you know, they indulge these kind of meditation and all these things. So, you know, they make we aware of these particular words where we talk about meditation. I know the means everybody will know what to be. 
But most of we, the religious people within the Africa, if we talk about meditation, most Christians, most other religious sects, Islam and other people, I know the Buddhists, they know what meditation is. I know, say, other uh, friends of people where they did the Asia and uh, India and things, they know what meditation is. But basically, the Africa people, when we talk about meditation, most of the time, we take them to be something spiritual, something out of the book, out of the book, something we it's never heard of. Or um, most of the time, something we, because it's basically because we don't know. You don't understand? So that brings me to the question, see, what is meditation? What is meditation? If somebody said, they ask, what be meditation? To me and how would they, um, uh, they understand meditation be you training your mind to focus on a particular thing. Getting to know yourself, being aware of yourself. Just calming your body, just being able to control your body. You understand? Not making the body control your mind. Having the mind control the body. How you be able to get to know yourself. You understand? That is basically meditation. That is basically meditation. Medica meditation is training your mind to focus. You understand? Which helps you to at least calm your body down. It helps you to know what is happening in your life. Helps you to understand yourself. Help you to know what is really going on with you, your life inside. Because a lot of people, we don't know what is even. We are on a temperament what we like and what we don't even like. Just because we don't know how in ourselves. You understand? And that is the reason why most of the time we have to calm our own self down. We have to make our mind control the body, not the body control the mind. The reason being that most of the time we are being programmed. And if I say programmed, I know they necessarily mean say then put you for some computer or then no. Our day-to-day -day activity is you form a certain pattern in our mind. That's every time we get up, we do that same particular routine from time to time. Maybe from the time we be about maybe I would talk say about 15 years to maybe the age of 30 or however it is that we are right now there has been a pattern which I mean every time we go through we they wake up we they wake up at a certain time we they go to school at a certain time we they go to church a certain day we they do a particular activity around a certain time and that is how the mind is being programmed is being set up you don't understand, and when it happens like that, all the time we get the same results. You don't understand, and that is the reason why we have to bring about meditation. Because when we bring about meditation, it's like sitting yourself down. It's like you, you do force your body to sit down to have your mind all through whatever it is you be thinking about through the day, or how your mind has been go with like how your mind has been thinking from time to time that is what we can talk about meditation you sit yourself down you close your eye and this is my process or this is how i do my meditation you know the matter whether you lay down or you sit down you didn't understand how i did do one we say i did close my eye feel comfortable whereby there is no noise or there's anything there is nothing we they are all you don't understand i just shut everything down that is my eye and everything sits within the dark that is you closing your eye you know you know they see nothing but darkness so that is what i mean by sitting in the dark and that is whereby you get to assess your mind you need to think through your mind you need to get to understand what to run through your mind from time to time that it be where your mind will wander about. You need to think about a lot of things, some funny things you do go out, you do go on through your mind, some unpleasant things you do go out, you do go through your mind, some places where your mind will go through, you navigate through all. To set yourself down, calming yourself down, you are able to get to know all these things. And that is whereby right now you will feel programmed, whatever it is where you do want program, whatever it is that you want to be on top, Whatever it is, where you don't want to focus on, that be where you put your mind onto. 
you don't understand what I try to talk about. So that be basically what we talk about meditation. That is basically what we talk about meditation. Meditation will be anything out of the box. Meditation will be any extraordinary thing where it's not heard of. It's like you telling your body to, hey, my friend, sit down, chill out. It's time for you to relax. Let me get to know what is going on. I need to control you now. It'll be you way to control me. That don't want meditation basically is. So if we talk about meditation, it's not saying any new thing or any out of the box thing or anything like that. Shut yourself down. Get to be aware of yourself. Get to know yourself. Get to like be familiar with yourself. Be your own friend. Let yourself like be your own. Get to be feel, get to familiarize with yourself. Basically, that be meditation. And what be mindfulness? Mindfulness is being aware of whatever it is when it come through your mind. You know, mindfulness and meditation they go hand in hand. Mindfulness is next partner in kind be meditation. You don't understand because sometimes when we get to be aware of certain things where they pop up on our mind, sometimes we the judge on ourselves. We they feel bad, we they feel guilt, we they feel all these things. But mindfulness is where about we the judge on ourselves. You understand? And the more you judge yourself, you put more negativity that whereby they have effect on you mentally. You understand where they come from. Yeah, man. So mindfulness meditation these two things that they go hand in hand being aware focusing on whatever it is getting to familiarize with your mind and familiarize with whatever it is that is going on around you and also being aware of whatever it is without you judging yourself that is meditation and mindfulness and that bring we the go back to mental health so what be mental health? We are not so we already talked about mental health in on a previous video. But if we talk mental health, you be on an overall, overall emotional state, mental state, psychological state of an individual or the person. How are on a person with the regulate? How we they do on our things? How we like on our activities they go by? These activities they bring certain things we most of the times we will be aware of. And those be some of the things we earlier talk about that be the stress, sleeplessness, that be uh, anxiety, that be depression, that be uh, what you call it. Uh, sometimes we feel uh for example downpressed, that we don't feel say Charlie, we feel left out. Charlie, we don't feel even associate with other people. And all these things are mental sickness sometimes we don't pay attention to. Or sometimes we are not even aware of. You understand? So me bringing it to you about people them is up to me. See, we go Charlie know and notice all these things that you find. Meditation and mindfulness is necessary. It's a prescription. For me and you are on a stress. You don't understand. So if we talk about that, then we need to make we talk about what are some of the benefits it will we did get if we did do this meditation and what more call it uh, 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 mindfulness thing I did talk about. What are some of the benefits? Because if there are no benefits, what be the importance of me going through this? particular thing of setting myself down in the dark whatever it is this guy you know, talk about you don't understand the people where they go stress you know, it will help you release your stress it will reduce self the reason why they help you reduce your stress is you setting yourself down it will make you aware of whatever the situation where you go face whatever it is the problem is the right now, what you go do after you know what the problem is? You go devise ways, you go define measures, you go set up plans, ways 
at which you go and face that particular problem because the honest truth is if you don't face the problem, the problem is not going to move. The problem will always be there. But you be aware of the problem is the number one thing to solve your issues. So you being aware of it, setting yourself down, being aware of the cause of whatever it is, the problem it is, and all those kind of circumstances surrounding around it, rewiring your mind, reprogramming your mind, it will help you release your stress. It will bring certain things down because it is a pattern where sometimes you follow Right now, you being aware of that particular uh, pattern you follow from time to time, right now you would like to reduce that particular pattern. If it's some habit way, in daily way, it stress you out, right now you will be aware of that particular um, habit or whatever it is, attitude or whatever it is, that right now you need to try to move away from it from like a little by little. And these are some of the benefits with meditation and mindfulness it will bring to us. They understand. Also, when we talk about meditation and mindfulness, it helps us to focus because a lot of a lot of people, a lot of you, this we don't feel focus. A lot of we we don't feel focus. We did just do anything like anyhow. We just did drop things anyhow. We just did do anything like any way we want. No, because that be how we like them, but because we don't know. And some of the ways we will feel bring some of these attitudes and these lifestyle is through meditation. Because the more you meditate, you do focus on a particular thing. And you focusing on a particular thing, it will help you after you get out of the meditation, how you will handle certain things. It will make your mind aware on that particular thing you will handle at the moment. And these are some of the benefits of meditation where sometimes it will help your mental sanity. It will help you to your daily activities. It will help you to challenge our personal life and everything. Because Charlie, sometimes if you know the feel focus on the particular uh, task way that they give you up, then what what be the benefit? Because if you then give you assignment for, for school, for class, for whatever it is, for job, where Charlie, you are supposed to finish up to it, where you do the few focus, then get the task done or the assignment done, then what is the benefit or what is the need of you, like having you in that particular place? That be why we have to practice meditation from time to time to so able to help we make we focus on whatever it is that we don't want to do. Meditation be very, very, very important in our life. Meditation will be one of the things which I mean, if we have in our life, like every time from time to time, it will benefit ourselves. You understand? If we should put down in our day-to-day activity, like how we do every time we get up early in the morning and get on the Facebook and get on the social media and tell us like, and we easy go up we you know, focus on a lot of things in our life. It's just it. And also, if we meditate most of the time, it help make we control our emotions. It helps our emotional well-being. The reason why it make or it help our emotional well-being be saved like at the talk, it makes you aware of certain emotions where they trigger certain things in your life. It make you aware of certain emotions where they make you fall, it make you get angry, it make you the you know, all these things. And it makes you control certain things. It makes you aware of oh okay, this be the word where Michael tell me the other time we make a ball. Okay, so next time if Michael approach me or anybody else approach me in a similar way then I know how I will deal with them. And that is you assessing yourself. That is you getting to know yourself, familiarize with yourself. And if you don't familiarize with yourself, getting to know yourself, how can you be aware of certain things like this? How you will be aware of certain things like this? 
that why it be very necessary. That be why it is very very important. That is why it is very essential. See, meditation and mindfulness could be one of the uh, 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 activities or practices we go or put on ourselves in from time to time. You don't understand because you controlling your emotions, your whatever it is, be it whatever, it help you a lot. It help your mental sanity. You know they make you distress a lot. You know they make because you know the outcome. You know what you really can get yourself into. You know what is gonna come out of it. You know all these things is pre-planned. You are aware of all these things. Really understand. Also, meditation they help you to sleep good. Aurora, if you don't know me, I'll tell you right now. Out of the personal experience, after a good meditation. After you plan whatever it is, you arrange everything for your mind inside. You get everything the way you would want out for the next few days or for the next day or for the next particular time. And if you sleep up, you need to feel sleep very, 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 very good. And sleeping good to the bring down your depression, it will bring down your stress, it will bring down your anxiety and all these things. That is why it be very important for you to indulge in meditation and mindfulness because these two then they go like both money than weed these two then they go hand in hand one of the who left the other you don't understand that be how we did and as you already know this is your boy that's in jail log and every time Charlie this particular platform this podcast with a spit chair with a spit with a give you Charlie life Life, life, reality is where it's amazing if you put for your pocket is I go help you for the next 15 years, 100 years, whatever it is you could feel left, give your grandkids and your great grandkids and all them people there. You don't understand? It's better to promote good, it's better to promote, you know, something where it will help the next generation, then make them to the world know how put it out in pocket and know where they become step. These practices, Charlie, they don't tell me for school. These kind of activities, they don't really tell me because sometimes say uh, the school activities, no, they won't bake with or not. That is why we have to take it upon ourselves, bring it to our own people, and make them be aware of certain things we're going on. Now, this this particular judgment, so say that to them, but not what they go do with myself. But all what I said, I do, Charlie, this is just dress no for a podcast radio. I hear so, Charlie, would it empower you to one them, Charlie, help them with, you know, mental development and, you know, personal development information, I think them the way you could help them, to man them too, so that they will get to water the street and in other prisons. What so I just say, yeah, man, and this only information is for everybody. It's for the ghetto youth, it's for the church man them, it's for the pastor man them. It's for the, um, 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 it's for everybody where they hear the sound of my voice. If you see or uh, hear this information, to be so to wave a something out, it is for you too. Yeah, well, so if I did continue with whatever it is we had to talk about, that is our meditation and meditation and mindfulness in mental health and our well being. You know, as if we did continue, it helps you which I make you be aware of yourself. Charlie, all these things that they talk, you know, we all we know say Charlie meditation they help we to be aware of ourselves because if you get familiar with yourself, then it means you are getting to know yourself that. You understand? That is you are getting to know yourself out of the whole noise where the outside, whatever it is where they go outside the inner self, you know, you are getting to know. But you are saying you are getting to know your inner being, the inner person that you first moving you from Africa and bought me from Monday then they call me Kujo. You don't understand hey they make her they know the real Kujo where they inside be the real soul. You don't understand me they make her then get to know what my soul the life, what my soul know the life, what I want, what I know the want that all of them good stuff and all of them think the soul. And some of these are some of the benefits of you know meditation and mindfulness. And that is some of the things we, Charlie, we have to be practicing. And Charlie, be aware also, say most of the time, Charlie, we're going to know how we go step out and, you know, we we'll move out on the steps and all them things. That's all. We should be, we should be aware, say, Charlie, mindfulness and meditation to the help with our relationship too. 
because Charlie, I know the relationship to be another problem where they eat a lot of people. Because most of the time, we de blame a lot of people for we de blame our, our potential partner. Say, if we then then do this or this person will do this or this we bring about this or. But if you should understand yourself, sit yourself down, meditate, find out where the problem is from, my brother, you will understand. Oh, okay. Okay, so if I do this, bring about the power. Okay, next time I know we do that. And all these things, if to the help you build on your relationship. If you know, say, if you say this and this, you go bring about fight, you go bring about problems. Next time you know, go say, yeah. Or, okay, you know, say communication be our problem. Okay, I'll sit to my partner down, go tell them, say, say, say. Then you all, you come together on the on the same mind, on the same basis. And that's so, uh, that's so you will get your challenge, you will get your solution, or you will get your challenge, your concrete girls, you too, or whoever it is, you uh, are in, they have the problem, you will be setting up. You will build a mental fortification, with a focus mind, with a dedicated plan, getting to know yourself and aware of yourself, nobody could have tell you not to buy that. Nobody could have tell you what is not even aware of you or like them say they don't know about you. You are fully aware of yourself. You are challenged. You know yourself from back to back. So nobody could have tell you nothing. It will help you go through whatever it is problems that you go through. Or whatever it is problem that is day ahead of you. Because it will make you think through it. It will make you see what the problem is about. Where the problem from. How the problem started. All those kind of things. You need to build your mental fortification. You need to understand. Yeah, man. This be what I have for you, my people, then. And as you already know, Charlie, every time, Charlie, if I can't be a, it be a pure information and pure motivation and pure development where they bring, give my people, then. Just stress, no, first, Charlie, you know, be any podcast with you, KK. No more, Charlie. We day yes, so say we will motivate our other people. We day yes, so say we will build together. Tell it's about time we tell it. Youth man them get to you, they will dread man them. We will enter in the corporate world, you know, in the commercial market and you know, challenge, challenge. Because we are the prophet, priest and kingdom. We are the prophet, priest and kingdom. And we are the controller man there. If you forget about yourself, Asian time, Rasta man, dreadnought man used to be the kings, used to be the ruler man there. So why about now? Why are we in the back seat now? We can't be in the back seat forever, my lad. We can't do that every time, you know. You want know, that is why it's about time, you know, we have to rise up. We have to you know, be speaking positive words to each other and you know, give this information also so we are gonna build on ourselves, you know. Yeah one see what so we challenge we go catch and all them things that so that is why no could you rasta, not to drain log, could you rasta, not to drain log, you could have called me black art or the good have called me black water, you the one at the bar. Man are the same person. We come to give you this information right here so I just straight. No affair podcast information. Yeah man, yeah man. Charlie, if you feel this information we are give you today, make sure say Charlie you go share it to our next one them and make them know what I go on. You understand? And make sure so you go follow me on all the social media platforms and all the places where you can find me at. You don't know say it's more love and life. We say the blessed love every time. We are gonna meet in the next episode. What love?